All right, I'm on hole number nine of the Great Outdoors Tournament. Haven't shot anything spectacular. Haven't made any mistakes. It's just been a nice, clean round. If you've got lower developed clubs, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for nice, clean rounds. You want to have consistency and then hope that some of those mm -hmm. other shots drop. I'm using a Titan and an extra mile and a Viper as my secondary club. Let's open up the chest. Let's make sure we have a slot open. Still working on clubs in this account, so you don't get club cards if you don't open up chests. You never want to play with an empty slot or with a with a slot that's not empty. You always want to be out there on the field, out there on the course with uh, an empty slot. So if you win one. You're getting something for all those wins. It's pretty easy in my account, so you can see how many wins I have. This account has 342 wins. That means I've opened up 342 chests. Now this layup shot down here is very tricky. The good news is, is that if you do what our opponent's doing, where you just try and hit out there as far as you possibly can into that rough, you can get on it too. And just hitting your second shot from the rough. If you do the shot on the other side that we're trying, that I'm trying to go for, and you mess up, you're in big, 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 big trouble. But when you have lower developed clubs, your secondary clubs for hitting out of the rough and sand are always crap. I'm going to take, the, take two of the wind out, a little over two. And we can't do any overpower on this. Hitting it perfect. We'll see how much run we can get. See if we can get past that sand. And with an upper developed club, you can get out there by that shadow. All right. Let's see if I can get around those trees. If I have any curl at all in my Viper, I should be able to get around it, but I'm sure I don't have a lot. Now, this is what I'm talking about. My opponent hit out there, but their secondary club is not a Nirvana. With a Nirvana, they probably could have got on. Or real close. Let's get out here in the middle. It's 2.8, and I'm using my Viper. And my Viper hits 1.9 per ring, so that's about a ring and a half. Isn't it perfect? I'm trying to weave my way around the trees and get it to go back towards the hole. There's a little bit of a backward here, and it'll roll back down towards it. Close. Close. The good news there is, is the bad news is, is that my extra mile doesn't have enough distance without a four power ball to get me over to the other fairway. But the good news is, is that the landing zone that's out there, that Viper's got just enough curl to get me around those trees. So I do like that shot. So once again, nothing exciting. No sink shots, but just nice, clean, a nice, clean round. 
I shot that both times by shooting the 24. That's going to definitely put me, I think in some of these lower level brackets like this, that's going to definitely put you probably in the top 15. Top 20 for sure. And depending on the bracket, the highest place minus 24 in an opening or a weekend round, if you've got the tiebreakers going in, you could be looking at a top 10, a high top 10. The key to this game when you first start is to play consistent. So even though that minus 12 doesn't look like, you know, the shot, you shoot a minus 24, you can tell from this round right here, we've got a bunch, of, you know, there's there's probably going to, that's probably not going to hold up. Somebody may shoot a 13, but the deal is, is that your main goal when you first start off is just to play consistent in these tournaments and then learn how to make some of those second shots get a little bit of luck on your side and you'll start to move up even higher in the bracket but you have to start somewhere and you start off by shooting nice consistent rounds i was supposed to get birdies on everything except for the par fives and i was supposed to get eagles on them and that's what i got all right that was hole number nine of the great outdoors tournament in tuesday's qualifying round of the rookie division thanks for watching